Hey Team USA fans, I am here with Offensive Coordinator Brandon Faircloth. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he saw today at day one of practice. Coach Faircloth, can you just kind of say, last night at the welcome dinner you talked a lot about the effort you want your team mm -hmm. to give. What effort did you see out there today? Oh, we had great effort today. You know, our kids came out, they had a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. And that's what we talk, we talk to them about that because that's the one way we can improve the, the, the fastest. You know, we've got to come out and have great effort and enthusiasm. Uh, they're learning new schemes, learning new offense, defense, and special teams. So the, the, the more energy and effort we can have, the better our team's going to become by next Tuesday night. They have a lot to learn here. How is that going to be for you to teach a offense and a defensive scheme in seven days? It's very tough. Uh, you know, it, it seems we have really intelligent kids. We have great coaches. So that's the first thing. Uh, and then you've got to meet. You know, there's, you've got to sit down. You've got to have classroom you know, classroom times where, you know, you sit down and tell the kids what to do and where to be and where to go. And, uh, you know, they're intelligent. They're figuring it out. We've got to get out, home, get out here, take it from the classroom out on the field and, uh, you know, and just continue to work hard and uh, to improve. You have an all-star coaching staff helping you out here. How do you think that they're going to make this transition to teaching these offensive defensive schemes here? In the oh, they've been great. We met yesterday uh, as a coaching staff. We met at the AFCA convention in Tennessee uh, two weeks ago, and uh, the coaches know it perfect, and uh, we're just trying to dispense all the knowledge to the kids and let them figure it out. We've, we're going slow. You know, you don't want to do things too quickly and make them lose confidence. We're moving slow on our, on our installations, and uh, when they figure something out, then we'll move on and keep installing up until next Tuesday night. Any standouts to you, day one of practice? Uh, you know, I, I thought our quarterbacks did a good job today. Yeah, they're, you know, we, we always uh, challenge our quarterbacks to be the leaders of the huddle and, you know, set it and make sure that everything's going running smoothly. And uh, they did a great job. Uh, uh, Shane Cockrell and Tyler Brugman both did a good job in the huddle. Uh, learned the offense last night in my hotel room at 1130 and uh, did a great job on the field today. Great. And you were a coach for the 2011 Team USA mm -hmm. team. How are you going to bring your experiences from that experience and come here and bring it to this team? Oh, I definitely think we learned a lot from 2011. Uh, you know, we won the game, so that was the most important thing. But uh, definitely, you know, just things in practice that you know, and, you know, watch the kids and how sore they get and, uh, you know, how much you push them at the beginning and, and your classroom time and what you teach them. You know, these kids are coming in with no, nothing, like you said, and uh, no background information. So you really got to slow things down. So you, you learn some things about your installation, you know, how to slow things down, how to practice uh, to make sure that on Tuesday night we're at our best. And you are a coach here in Texas. Mm -hmm. Kinda, can you talk to me about the culture of Texas football? Well, you know, here in Texas, I think we do it the best. You know, the, the, the towns, uh, you know, it really is a, a, a town and a high school thing here in Texas. You know, the whole town gets behind the school. Uh, you know, when you have stadiums like the one we're in today, you know, for kids to play in, you know, kids in Texas are really blessed with great facilities, great support from, from their fans, from the school. It really is just a, a town and, and citywide event every Friday night. And uh, I think that's what makes Texas high school football the best. Well, thank you for meeting with us. And we'll catch back with Coach Faircloth here in the next few days. Good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you.